and one is blameworthy. Did you know that? Yeah. So when God says he is the best of the planners, the plotters, that's the word you want to use like to say God is the best deceiver. But the word is makar, makirin. Did you know the word makar? No, he's gone. Connotations of good and bad, depending yeah? how you want to use it. You didn't know that? No, no. Because you were only going with some polemical work against Islam when they're saying, ah, God is a deceiver. In fact, the Bible tells God is a deceiver, but I'm not going to even go into that. Where does it say that? I'm not going to go into that. Where does it say in the Bible that God is a deceiver? Where does it say that? So you're not familiar with it? Where does it say that? I'm not asking you if I'm familiar with it. I'm asking you. Look, as I said, it's not even important. Where does it say that in the Bible? Where does it say that? Show me. And if you show me and you are correct, then I will not say nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's how it should be, right? Give me some examples. This verse uh, Jeremiah 27. Do you have the Bible? Yeah. Open up 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 20. I have my notes here. So So I said one kings chapter 22 verse 20 to 22 that's what i know it's just that hello you can read it 2022 yeah just read from 2022 so we understand the context what his name is yahuwah just like jesus christ people can say, people can say lord 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 but his name is yahushua jesus yahushua so what i'm saying is what is the name of allah and listen i've had many debates many um, um scholars there's not a name for Allah. There is not a name for Allah. And I'll tell you why there's not a name for Allah. Because Allah never once spoke to Allah. <laughs> not once. Okay. Not once. Now the Lord said, and he will entice Ahab, and that he may go up and fall at Ramoth. You're trying to tell me this is not a common consensus among Muslims. Are you trying to say I'm lying now? Think about it. Are you saying that this is not a general consensus? I will entice him. That's a demon. And the Lord said to him, I respect, you know what, I respect that. Because I'm going to go out and be, and we'll be by him, the spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. That's a demon talking about, about, what God, about God's prophets. What did God it's say in verse 22? And he that's said, him you are enticed they to him, and you shall succeed. So go out and do so. That's why they removed Who, his name. And, and the Lord said what? Go and do it. Um, call my name. Call the Lord didn't say that. You will succeed in enticing him. Said who? Look, say for example, your name is Jonathan. Tom! Tom! Please, Tom! You're not calling me. You need to call oh, someone by their name. So that's why I said, what's the name of Allah before? Because the woman said, and he said, he's talking about the spirit. He's not talking about God. God. What did God do? And? The spirit said, you are to entice him and you shall succeed. Go out and do so. The spirit and, and is telling him to do that, not God. And carry on. And then what, what happens? Well, I'm, 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 or what? Maybe of descendants, but and I'm not Jehoshaphat one of them. said to the king of Israel, like inquire first I'm of the word of the Lord. Of the way. Then the king of That's Israel gathered the prophets together. No, no, you, you, you missed the crucial verse. Immediately, immediately after that, the Lord God said, go show and do it. Again, I've got the verse you told okay, me to so, get up. Okay, let me so open show up. me on your phone. 1 Kings 22, okay? He's not talking about, and God told him to go and do so. He's saying the spirit told him to go and do so. I'll show you. So what we had to do was go to the priest and pray and done all these things. They had to kill an animal that was in the so, so now, Bible gateway? No, no way, it's not possible. It is not possible. We are like filthy rats before God. Do you know in the Bible that if God looks upon sin, he bursts into flames? He, yeah. Then Daniel, you know, you, you will turn to flames. So Daniel, uh, this is what it's saying. I will go out and be a deceiving spirit in the mouths of all his prophets, he said, you will succeed in enticing him, said the Lord, go and do it. The connection we have is the 
mediator, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of This is Bible Gateway. New International Version. I just picked up whatever came. Why is it not in yours? Go and do You're it. You're taking that so out of context. No, no, no. I gave you the whole from the 20 to 22. Okay. You have now, God is approving that go and deceive. But your God does that as well. No, no, no. no. Right, remember, remember, one, one second, one second. I wasn't even interested in showing that Bible God is deceiver. I was just making a side point. And you asked me like where? So I've shown you from the Bible, God is okay. showing deception. So can I now, ask you one thing then? So, so in, in Surah and Nisa, um, mm -hmm. chapter four, 4, verse 157, it 457. says Jesus was not crucified nor killed. Allah just fixed a trick to make it look like Jesus was crucified and killed. It doesn't say that. What, what translation is that? What do you mean? Yeah, what translation are you reading? reading it from, it's saying the verse of it. That's the verse. Which, which Quran translation are you reading from? I've never come across any translation yeah, like that. that I mean, life. I know the Arabic, but I want to know which translation you're reading from. Someone's Facebook post? Yeah. Instagram picture? I mean... Yeah, fair enough. I'm not reading it from the Right. The, the so you Quran, need to read... It says the verse there. So no, it doesn't say that in the Quran. So you need to read from the Quran, just from like you that. asked me... Okay, so chat, what does this say there? Okay, so this is the chat. This is what it says in, in Arabic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. So translate that to me then. Well, you can read a translation which is already translations that are available. There are more than 40 translations I'm familiar with. I can pick up anything that you like. I mean, this one, would, would you like um, Shakir, Mohsin Khan, Yusuf Ali, Piktal, Asad? Mohsin Khan was my default one. Okay, let's just go and see what Mohsin Khan says. Look. Here we go. So this is what it says in Arabic here. Yeah? And this is the translation. In, and for boasting, yeah. we killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, mm -hmm. the messenger of Allah. Yeah. Right? But they neither killed nor crucified him. It was only made to appear so. So that's deception. No, 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 no. One second. It was only made to appear so. Just, By who? Let's just By let's, let's try to understand something. When you read the text, even those who argue for this crucifixion are in doubt. They have no knowledge sure. whatsoever. Only making assumptions. They certainly did not kill him. Okay. But it literally says okay. there that Allah deceived the Christians uh, into making them think that Jesus died on the cross. You just said and they didn't. So your God you, deceived the Christians. You just said. So why are you here trying to uh, prophesy I'm, to me? I'm if trying I'm, to if respond you, to you your question. The works of Allah. I'm trying to respond to your question if you allow me. Right. First, you said literally say so meaning exactly word for word as it says which it doesn't you've only read a bit which says and it appeared to them so and from reading that text you inferred the meaning to be what you're saying I am saying your meaning that you inferred is incorrect and I'll give you several reasons why for example if somebody just over there look that lady there was just trying to see what's happening here imagine she perceived you as the princess of Uganda and then she started typing on the Facebook and Instagram on WhatsApp, whatever. Oh my God, I saw the Princess of Uganda. Look how beautiful Prince of Uganda is here. I didn't need, know, know that. And then she went in and she started talking about her friends and it went viral in her friend circle. But the fact of the matter is this, that was her mistaken perception. She mistook in her perception to think that you were the Princess of Uganda. Yeah? So that's how the perception can be mistaken by people. What the Quran say is this, that there were people who had a mistaken perception that they crucified Christ and the Quran says no, Christ wasn't crucified. He wasn't killed, he wasn't crucified and for a certain surety they killed him not. So the Quran tells you what the rumor was and then tells you that this rumor is not correct because God raised him up and they were unsuccessful in killing, crucifying Christ. Quran is not denying any kind of crucifixion any here. Quran is saying there was a rumor that Christ was crucified and Quran is saying that rumor is incorrect. Even before the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad There are many Christians who believe Christ wasn't crucified. Many Christians. The church father... Who's Christians then? No, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the church father had to, what, 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 what the church fathers had to write about those people which they thought they were heretical Christians, not believing in the physical death and crucifixion of Christ. They had to warn the other Christians, be wary of those pre-Christians, the Basilidians, for example, or these Christians or that Christians, because they don't believe in Christ, because they believe either Simon the Cyrene, who carried the cross, was crucified, or someone else who looked like Christ and look even some of the writing says Christ is sitting on the top of a tree 
and says, look. Where does it say that? Some of the writings. Where? What book? Do you want to know? Yeah, what book? Does it say that Find in the Bible? If Did it I doesn't, then I don't care. Okay, it doesn't say in the Bible. It doesn't say that in the Bible, then no. I don't care. Fine, that's, that's why I'm saying. It says in some of the scriptures. What scriptures? From what book? <laughs> From Listen. what book? Tell me what book. Firstly, we need to understand one thing. The Bible itself that you have today, how many books is it? How many books? Yeah. I don't know exactly. I'm not. Okay. But like I said, do I'm you know? Not... It doesn't. Okay. I will tell you why it matters. It doesn't matter. I will tell you why it matters to okay, me. Tell me why it matters. Okay. The Jesus, number of books. Jesus didn't need to um, write I will tell you. No, I will tell you why it matters if you if you hear me out. The Coptic Christians has more number of books than the Protestants. The number of books the Catholics have is more than the Protestants have. So I've given you three examples of believing Christians. The number of books they believe in the Bible is different, right? It's, it's, it's a well-known fact. So what I'm saying is, even, even before Christianity became orthodox, as you understand it to be today, there were many people who believed in other scriptures, other gospels. Do you know, was it only four gospels that were written? There were more than four Gospels. Gospel of the Nazarene, Gospel of the Ebionites, Gospel of Infancy, Gospel of Mary, Gospel of Judas, Gospel of St. Thomas, and the list goes on. We know today about 49 Gospels, parts of it here and there are extant, meaning available to us. 49. You will say, the people who wrote those Gospels, apart from the four that is in your Bible, they forged them, they corrupted. Would you not say those other Gospels, like Gospel of Judas, Gospel of St. Thomas is a forgery? Uh, are you going to say, these were inspired book of God? Should it not be in the Bible? You would say, no, they're not in the Bible, so we don't believe and accept them to be canonical. Accept them to be inspired words yeah, of God. Other faiths, like the Catholics and, and other kinds of like interpretations, they took stuff out of the original Bible, like the Apocrypha, for example. That's, that's Some of the parts of the Apocrypha were taken out because... I'll, I'll give you a verse actually that will back this up because people prophesize what others want to hear to suit their own desires and their yeah. own story. No, I accept with you, this is what people have been doing. Actually. And this is which my point. People were writing with their own hands and saying this is from God. And you and I know it's not from God. That's what the Quran is accusing people of. So, Jews and the Christians, they write the books with their own Timothy, hands and say it's from God. Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, mm. it says, For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrines. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. So basically, those false prophets and those false pastors, or whatever you want to call them, the Catholics, whatever, they are prophesizing falseness to suit their own desires. Like, for example, them saying that Jesus Jesus was white. He wasn't white. How can white come before black? It's impossible. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just doesn't happen. So I agree with you. There were many enthusiastic, believing Christians in Christ. They wrote the books with their own hands and then said, "This is the gospel of Christ." Yeah. So we know people were involved in mass scale forgery. That is why you have to now critically ask the books that I have in my Bible, the Protestant Bible, your Bible. How am I going to be certain that this indeed is the inspired word of God? They that's one thing. No, that's what you have to investigate yourself. They spoke to, Yah, they spoke to, Yah, to Yahweh. Right. Do you now believe that Christ himself identified and said, there is no God besides me. I alone am God and there's none else. So serve me alone. He didn't say that. Can he say that? What do you mean can he say that? Yeah. He didn't say that. No. Is it possible for Christ to say that? because he didn't say that. Okay. Furthermore, he's dead, so he's not going to say that. But when, when he was around, do you believe he he's... Do, okay. So okay. He do you believe? Do you believe he's God? Yes, I do. Okay. How many gods do you believe in? One. Okay. Is Jesus that God? He, he came down from... The, the Heavenly Father brought him down to prophesy in his place because the Heavenly Father is spirit. He's not of man. So he had to bring someone down in the form of man for men to understand. When he said this one God, and you said Jesus is God, so Jesus is that one God? Yeah, he is. So besides Jesus, because there's only one God, there is none other? Well, no, no, there isn't. Anything. Yeah, so besides Jesus Christ, so because there's only one God, let's understand the logic. And, and Yeah, let's understand now what you're saying logically. Because there's only one God, Jesus is God, so Jesus is that one God. So besides Jesus, there is no other gods. So the Father, which besides Jesus is not God, because only Jesus is God. 
It's about three dimensions. It's the Holy Trinity. No, Jesus. Like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is bound by one. It is one whole thing. It's just separated into three sections. It's just like your God. It, he probably like Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. He had arms. My, my had God legs. is not divisible arm or divisible. His arms are two separate things. His torso and his arms are two separate things, but they are bound together. Yes or no? Okay. So when you Ask give an example, yes I am. No? I am going to answer. So his arm if you, if you allow me, if you allow me. To, I'm speaking. His leg, Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ's leg yeah. and his arm were two separate things, correct? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Right. But are they part Is his arm the leg? So Jesus Christ's arm and his leg are two separate things, correct? Is the he arm is the arm Jesus himself? Yes. No, it's a part of him. It's a part of him, yeah. Right. So we need to understand. So, no, so don't interrupt. No, no. Me. So what okay, I'm finish, saying is, is that finish what you're saying, so, and then I will explain to you why. You, why why I this is. That. Yeah. So his arm and his legs are two separate things. Yes. On his body, what is his body? One entire thing. Sure. So it is the same with the heavenly Father, with Yah, with Yah, with Yahushua, yeah. his son, and the heavenly Father Yahweh. They are two separate things, but they are bound as one by the Holy Trinity. You have the, the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, Rak HaKodesh. And it is a one whole united thing. Okay. It is one God in three separate things. Okay. You see, let me give you another example. I have three fingers in my hand. How many fingers? One, two, three. Yeah. My three finger is not my hand. There's still three fingers. Part of your hand. Part of our hand. So this is the concept that now we need to explore a bit more. So Parts. your hand as a whole? Yeah. The, the, hand. The, the whole is the hand, but individually hands. there are so fingers. Three. Fingers yeah, there are five fingers. Hand. Right. Is one finger individually my whole hand? No. Good. So if we now talk about individually, Jesus, the Father and the Holy Spirit, is the Father individually God? The Father is God, yes. Individually? Yahweh is God, yes. Individually, not collectively. Remember, there's a Father, yes. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, He is individually okay. God. If He's individually God, so how much of God is He? 100%. One full God. Yeah. Not a part. But Yahushua HaMashiach was brought down by one, the heavenly Father. Sorry, one moment, one moment, just to explain it. If the Father is 100% God, that's one God, not half God. Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen my Father. We he can explain that a little bit later, but let's talk about this relevant. concept. It's relevant to what you're saying right now. Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach said mm. that I am, I, through me, if you have seen me, you have seen my Father. Did they see the Son ever? Did they see the Son? Yeah, did they see the Son? Did they see the Son? Who's they? People. Yes. No. The Son of God. No. What did he say? If you see me, who do you see? He said, I am the great I am. No, no, no. You, you're jumping from one to the other. When he said, if you see me, who do you see? God. No. He didn't actually say that. To be he fair, says, if you see me, said, you see the me. I am, I am my father. Father. So let's, let's let's understand that. If Jesus Christ said, if you see me, you see thee. No, no. You, with you Muslims, you go around in circles. Uh, actually, you are the one brought this up. I wasn't even talking about this thing. So let's go back. Let, let, let's go back. Let's go back. The, the Father is 100% God, so how much of God what is he? Is he one God or half God or a one-third God? God? He's God. There's no half. There's, he's God. God, and right. God. Yeah. Is he one God when he's, when he's God? Yes, he's, he's God. Right. But is he one God though? Yes. Right. So we have the Father being one God. Clear? Yeah. The Son, is he also one God? The Son, is he one God? Is he also one God? Yes. So how many gods do we have so far? One. No. Try again. One. Try again. We have one. Father is one God. Please don't laugh. This is not a joke. If you, if you, if you cannot and have a conversation here, you, you, you know you're worthy of listening. Apologize to the ladies. Never ever ever admit right. to there being two gods. There's no such thing. You must stop admitting. It's the concept. What if I believe this tripod is God and you say how can you believe in that God? I said no 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 no. Um, I believe in a God. You, we have to make sense of what we believe in our statement. So the Father is God. That's one God. You said so. One God. Not half a God. One God. And then you say the Son is one God. One God and one God is two gods. It's not difficult for you to say that, but, but you know that... It's the Holy Trinity. It's the, the Son. It's the, the no, Father, no. the Son and the Holy Spirit. They are one. Okay. Together, 
maybe might misunderstand okay, you. Let me, let me say to, let me say to, the, to you this. So then. together... Are we, are we flat? Are you looking at me? Am I flat? Or when I spin, can you see three dimensions of mm -hmm. me? When I spin, can you see one, two, three dimensions? I can yeah? see... I can see... Yeah, you know about... You, yeah, 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 yeah. ...and maths and all that. Okay, so... Yeah. Do you? Everyone and everything on this earth is three-dimensional objects, whether we are humans, whether... Tell me about the fourth dimension. Huh? Tell me about the fourth dimension and the fifth and the sixth. There is no such thing. Well, you need to go and read them about it. There are lots of dimensions, really? rather than okay. three. Okay, so your your analogy about the Trinity with three dimensions fails because there are more than three dimensions. So let's go back to this example about three. Let's go back to this example because you can help me out, right? One second. One second. He's completely calm. Please. When you say Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, they are one God. They're one God when they're together, they right? By one. Together they're one God. Yes. So the one God is the Godhead. The community. What yeah? The institution, the family. Father, Son and Holy Spirit together, if that is an organization or an institution okay, or a way, family. They're not all people, just to let you know the Father is spirit. He has the Holy Spirit inside him. He brings the Holy Spirit into people's hearts. Yeah. So they can also have power to spread the gospel. The Father is not the Son. Father is not the Holy Spirit. They're different. They're distinct. So when you have together, that's they are one. one. They are bind. No, together that they're one, right? Together, yeah. They, they, so yeah. that's what you mean by one God. So now I'm going to talk about individually. Is the Holy Spirit individually one God? No. So it's the not Holy God. Spirit then. is spirit. Is the is the Son Jesus individually one God? He, he, there's one God. There is only no, no. one God. The one God is when they're together. That's the Trinity. The Trinity together, three in one, is the oh. one God. He said, if you see me, you have seen my father. Did they see I the son? I am the great son. Did I they am. see the son? Yes, because no. Yahushua Mashiach is the son of no. God. No, yes, because he, he says... He if, says it himself. Okay, what did he say? If you see me, you see the son? He said, if you see me, you see my father. Yeah, who do they see then when they see him? God. No. He says, if who you see me, who is the father? according to the text, no, if you see me, Mary wasn't impregnated oh, by please, anyone. please. If you see me, you know, so you read, his father is the, holy, is, the, is the holy father of heaven. If you see me, Jesus says, you see the father, not the son. You read the text and you go against this meaning. So what I'm asking you is this. Did Jesus say who the only true God is ever? Did you identify who that is? Did you identify who that is? Yeah. He never says, I am God, no. No, no. Did he identify who the only true God is in his three three years of ministry? I mean, to be fair, I'm still reading the Old Testament. But okay. from what I'm reading... In the New Testament, did he say... I have and read I, the New Testament. Okay. In I'm the New Testament, God. in the New Testament, Jesus says, the Father, who is your Father too, his Father and your Father, he says, I go to my Father and your Father. So his Father is your Father is the same. He says the Father is the only true God and Jesus Christ is the one who is sent. So Jesus Christ identified who the true God is. It's not him, it's not the Holy Spirit, it's only the Father who people called God. Do you accept what I just said now? According to Jesus, the only true God is not the Trinity, not the three persons, but one person. This is John 17 verse 3. Yeah. Okay, so in John H, in in John chapter eight, verses fifty-eight, Jesus Jesus answered them, "I solemnly declare before Abraham came to me, I am." So this means that that was the name that God gave Himself when He first communicated with Moses in Exodus three, um, in Exodus chapter three, verse fourteen. God replied, I am who I am. Then he added, this is what you shall tell the Israelites. I am sent me to you. Sorry, are you confusing with reading the Exodus and New Testament together? Uh, what, what am I supposed to understand from it? What, Mate, I, it's a verse from the Bible. What are you not no, understanding? No, no. You're confusing two different texts, the old and the new, and merging it together. But they're, one, they're, they're still in one book. Though, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, the only true God is the Father. So, do you agree with Jesus Christ? Yeah. So, according to Jesus Christ, who's the only true God? Sorry? According to Jesus Christ, who you agree with, yeah. who is the only true God? 
Jesus Christ is God. He no. is the great According, I Okay. Do you agree with Jesus Christ? Let me Jesus just read Christ? it to you again. No, 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 it's not about reading. John I asked you a question. Maybe your friend can help. Jesus According to... Saying, I solemnly me, your husband can help? Before Abraham came to be, I am. What does he mean by I am? That is Do the name that God that? gave himself yeah, before yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. when he communicated to Moses. If he says before Abraham, I am, and he was flesh, how can he be before Abraham if he's, if he's flesh? Well, I can answer that if you want. Go on, go on, go on. But before we do that, can we just wrap this question up? According to Jesus Christ, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree with Jesus? Say that again. According to Jesus Christ, as reported in the New Testament, in John 17 verse 3, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree Care with Jesus Christ? There is only one God, yeah, God, yeah. On. No, no, no. Do you agree with Jesus Christ that the only true God is one person, the I Father? Just quote, I just quoted scripture, it says, Hear, O Israel, there is only one God. To worship Him with all the heart, with all the strength, with all That's the soul, with all saying. the mind. But I'm asking you, I'm asking your question. But I'm you asking you. No. Let me let me clarify my question. Let me, you just let, me you. let me clarify my question. You misunderstood my question. According to Jesus Christ, how many person is the only true God? According to Jesus Christ, how many person is the only true God? How many persons? Yeah. Oh, you're not answering the correct question. I'm asking you I'm a question. Ask, okay, okay. I'm going to answer the question with a question. He no, answer, said, answer it. I'll answer the question with a question. When Philip said to him, um, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And he says, how long have I been with you? He who has seen me has seen God. Thank you. Does that answer your question as well then? No, it doesn't. So now tell me how many... Because you don't want it the way... And you see how it no, I just told you. It doesn't answer my question. No, so you now you tell me go, how many person... Okay, okay, you see how it can go. So who here can say, he who has seen me has seen God? Look, look. So if you want me to address your question like that, I can answer that. No problem. But I would like you to be sincere enough to answer the question I asked you. How many person... According to Christ, is the only true God. Okay, can I just say like this? John, cha John chapter 10, verse 30. I and the Father are one. That is what Jesus Christ said. Do you want me to address that as well? I can answer any of those and address that. Okay, but, but you I, are not I'm addressing... With scripture, so okay. As long as you're addressing it back with Scripture, yeah. I will agree with you. If you don't address it with Scripture, unless you can expand... I just told you, John 17, 3. And, and elaborate, elaborate. John 17, 3 says, This is eternal life, that they should know you, the Father, the only true God, and Christ Jesus whom you have sent. Yeah, so according to Jesus Christ, the only true God is one person who is he identified he as the Father. I and the Father are one. No, I can address that, but let's address John 17, 3. John 17, 3, do you agree with Jesus Christ? That the only true God is one person who is the Father. There is only yes. one God, absolutely. I agree no, not one God. God, one person. There's only one God. No, this is not my question. Isn't a person. He's you not see, a human. God is not a person, not but a we know that God is not a person. Bro. Come That's on. why he's believe in the Trinity. In human okay. Form. Do you believe in the Trinity? Absolutely. Yeah, so, what is the Trinity? What's the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. What, are you talking what is the Father and Son? What's the difference between them? What are they? Then one, is human, God, one, you know. one what is human, one is human, and one is not I know that human. One, I know that one Show me from this scripture, one is God says... One is spirit, and well, one is show, human. You know. This wait, wait, is what okay, I mean, this is the Do you know, do you know about Deuteronomy? You know Can you quote... I'll show you. The, the do you Hebrew? know what Ikad means? Can you, you quote... Know what you just ask me a question about Trinity. Oh, you speak Hebrew, do you? Do you know what Do you speak Hebrew? I'm asking you a question, bro. Don't ask me a question. Do you know what Ikad means? Okay, I'm going to answer. And I'm going to answer. Now he's answering himself. You ask me, I'll answer. Firstly, Ichad, that you're asking me to answer, is a Hebrew word. So, so what, what I... What does it mean? What I want you to establish, first of all, that you're familiar with the Hebrew language before you answer it. Because if I'm not going to give you a Hebrew answer, are you going to be able to understand it? Do you speak Hebrew? Do you read Hebrew? Right. So your understanding of Hebrew is just like mine, some words here and there, to understand what it says. Right? So, Ikhad, what you're saying is here, it means a composite one. This is what you're going to say? No, no, no. It means compound. It's a compound union. Compound, know? composite. Union. Compound it compound mean, union. Right. union. Yeah. Union. Of union. what? Because you, thank you. Okay, of what? Of thank what? You. Now, when did they also use that word, Ikhad? Okay, let me answer the question to you. Go on. By scripture. God says in Isaiah, before me, there was no God form. No God. Let me, let, you see that? He, he's so afraid to even hear the scripture. After me, there, was no, there will be no God form. I alone am God and there is none else. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. I'm quoting scripture just like your wife was quoting scripture. I have not, no. So now, who is this I and me in this unity, in this communion, in this compound 
that you explain. Someone in this community, in this union, is saying, I alone am God and none else. Who is that I who is speaking? I alone am God and there is no else. Okay. Either it is Jesus, the Son, either it is the Father, it is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Help us to understand who is speaking. Okay, now watch this. I asked him about it. I don't even want to do this nonsense. Well, I said about Icard. So he's going to answer who's speaking, right? Well, I said about the simple, the simple thing. I said, what does Icard mean? Icard means it's a compound union. It means unity. Union, yeah? More than one. Now, when I said, where else do you see this in scripture? Where else do you see this in scripture? And I'll tell you where you see it in scripture. It says, therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. When you hear that one flesh, that is the word ikhad. But you're hearing a man and a woman being joined together as one flesh, ikhad. So when in this um, scripture, now let me go back. When in this scripture it says... I have no problem you with explaining ikhad means a unity like that. That's why I said... Given that so, understanding of yours, when finish. God, someone says, I alone am God, there's none else, land, bro. I would let like land, you to explain to everyone okay, here and, and help and us understand who that is. Because you, said about Trinity. you said about Trinity, so let me explain Trinity, because this is Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, actually no, let me even say in the Old Testament, watch this. Deuteronomy 6.4, Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah, it says the Lord, but his name is Yahuwah. Yahuwah, our Elohim, is one, Ikad. Ikad, it doesn't mean one, and what does one, you know one, come on, you're smart enough to know one in Hebrew isn't the same as Ikad. So when you see that word Ikad, he is saying, I am Ikad, I am a union. Okay, so what did I say in response? I said, let's give you that interpretation, okay, yeah, Even, be, be, because, because I don't want to correct you there, because it's going to go long. I give you that interpretation, and I say, given that interpretation, now Isaiah says, God is saying, I alone am God and there's none else. Now look at that script and I'll bring it back. Because I can show you the script right now. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. as in Hebrew as well. I mean, as in Hebrew. I can give you the Hebrew right now. Listen, I, mean, listen, I, mean, I can give you the Hebrew. Uh, we don't shake hands um, with Why respect. Not? Respect. Yeah. Only man to man. As a woman. Oh, woman. No, 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 Even no, with no. other women. Oh, yo, God yeah. Bless you, so, so there you go. I can, I can shake his hands. This is showing signs of respect. I can shake hands with my mother, my wife, my sister, my daughter. Yeah, but not, not with other women. Um, so it's not just um, Christian women, Jewish women, atheist women, any woman. Thank you for the conversation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yo, So just to wrap this up, then those who are listening, and, and we'll try to understand what the discussion was. We were trying to understand from the Christian perspective in how they understand their scripture. When you go deep to, to, to unpack some of those things, it's quite clear that they're not willing to entertain these critical questions. Like I asked several times, according to Christ, God is only one person and they believe in three persons because they say Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. But they're not willing to address that. And then just keep on going answering this. What about that statement? That's, you know, I am the father of one. 